I've never seen the strat work, and it's not working right now. I, they pulled a gun to a sign, but this is they already lost the first two points at this yeah. point. Shooting blanks is should, shooting blanks should get third off this basically. Yeah, honestly, yeah, they're unless gonna wipe. they're gonna wipe. Unless, uh, you know, red has a really good Uber here. I don't see this. I don't see them holding this. No, they're not. There's, holding like, there's, they're they bleeding so the hard right now. It's just just the demo on the mech now. Uber's used now. Blue is just sitting on cart. They're gonna. They don't even have to pop theirs. Yeah, shooting blanks should be taking this. Yeah, oh, they pop it anyway. That was slight misplay. Oh, because they wanted to catch the medic, but no, they, there was nothing to catch him with. He got piped once, yeah. and I think he got scared. Because uh, it looks like Dotsy. No. I don't know. Well, anyway, no. they're, yeah, they're uh, maybe they can't roll third, but they can at least take wood. I mean, right, they'll probably have again. Uber. So shooting blanks will probably have Uber when they, you know, when they are ready to push third. Right now, they just need to get the card up. Yeah, it's kind uh, of just waiting for the cart for blue team here. They'll get their Uber probably when the cart is in position. They can go off of that. Red should have a gun up by now. Yes, they got a level 2 already. So we're just waiting to see if the pick class does something. Cypher's watching right where Ash is playing right now, which is very spooky. It's alright. He just gets a couple frags. No big deal. We're going to see... Us push, never mind, there is the nope. sniper picking him, and that's uh, sightline we saw before, so now probably going to delay a minute on this push. They still had such a good first hold, first and second push, because of the really poor sentry play and like overall combo play from uh, from the Whitman on the first two points is really disappointing to see. Yeah, they, they had this really passive hold, which I guess the purpose is to play around your sniper and then hard hold the house right after the first cap. But the sniper went down right away, so they yeah. ended up getting rolled on first, and then shooting blanks used that momentum to roll into second, and here they are. It's yeah, they're Uber Ubering into upper. The soldier bombs in, gets some good damage on the gun and the medic. The medic forced to pop. Blue is now holding their 100% Uber, and they're probably going to go in post. They do not have their demo with them currently. They definitely want their demo to be coming in on this, and they're actually just going to back out and keep their ad, which is, I guess, a smart decision. I thought that their demo was with them before when they were trying to get that force, but I guess he got separated, maybe he got picked or something? I don't know. Not entirely sure. But, but they now they're going to be going in. Yeah, they should be walking in right now. This demo just needs to take this uber solo, kill the gun, and force him off high ground. This is probably the best play. They're all coming around to get these buffs. Oh, their spy got caught push. out. Oh, that's alright. So, He's going to get a pack. Well, I mean, the uber is probably going to have to be wasted on... Yeah. Or a lot of oh, gonna okay, be the on. sniper just got blues heavy. This is not good for a pre-Uber push, because that means your team's going to be weaker post-Uber. We see Red's heavy is feeding. It's all right. Oh, almost makes the jump. He does die. And this is not good. Blue's combo dropping down right here is not the play they wanted to make. They should have stayed on the high ground and let their cappers push. Well, it doesn't matter. They're going to get this anyway. They got enough frags with their Uber. I'm not entirely sure how that push worked out for them. I mean, they dropped the heavy going in, which, you know, pushing third up top with the heavy is actually really good. Yeah. But... They also lost three people in their Uber, mm -hmm. and somehow it seems like Red should have just been able to kite, maybe lose their heavy, and then refight because they sh they had more people up for the after fight, but somehow it worked out for Blue. Yeah, I think that the Red's medic just put just wanted to get out of there and keep their ad. Or did actually the Red medic die? They don't have ad. They're thirty percent just ad. Probably the medic died. Yeah. Died, yeah. So died that, the they probably just immediately got scared off of that and just didn't want to risk losing any more. Their engineer probably just wanted to get the gun set up already. All right, so now we're going to see a very big Uber ad for the Shooting Blanks roster. They're going to probably be coming on this left side. They're looking to do that. And Ender, I saw your team was doing this quite often versus DK. What do you think the biggest uh, biggest thing you need to do here is during this push? Uh, I think what you need to do is going into last, you need to say, okay, well, right now Blue's actually getting a lot of... They're getting a lot yeah, of I think they got exactly what they wanted. They get the gun and they get the force. That's pretty much... Perfect. Oh, but as I say that, no, they've lost Donovan this bombs, bombs the medic, gets him. Actually getting a ton of damage on everybody else, so yeah, oh, that Gabe's was very good. Medic. Oh, that's a very good bomb by Gabe on that medic. So it resets it. Blue should have a slight, not slight, that's probably like a 25 ad with the respawn times, so that's very good for them. So the right gun. Red should hold this. Yes, they should um, hold this for another minute or two. But right now there's no gun, so what I would like to see Blue Team doing here is like, edging the card a little bit with like a couple flank classes it's close enough where like they're gonna be threatening to cap and force rotations
I think what should have happened is when Uber respawned, he should have before he even respawned, he should have been calling for somebody to meet him at spawn yeah. because they should their ad shouldn't be twenty percent. Yeah, this should be larger. It should be at least forty percent. But it's just at this point, their ad's a lot smaller than they probably think it is. Yeah. So that might end up screwing them. They're peeking in from the hallway side right here. They're edging their sniper in for a pick. Doesn't really see anything. The cart's you see going Watercat back. You see watching the sight line where, where uh, Fallen Lord is playing. He shoots and he gets picked by Ash. That's very good. Very good play there. So now they have free reign on this hallway. And this is very good. This is what I think most teams do. They take control of the hallway and they just try to pressure teams out with, with frags. And as I say that, Ash gets struggled in by the demo and dies to the sentry gun. Very unfortunate. That's probably going to yep, get forced as a result of that. Both Ubers are going to trade. This is going to be a much better Uber for Red Team. Or is it? I don't know. The Pyro is zoning the Red Semitic. The Red Demo goes down. They're getting a lot of cart. They're getting people Ooh. on the cart as well. The Red Semitic is back in fully. Okay. That worked out okay. We just didn't really have any after fight. It looks like yeah. they lost people before the exchange. I don't think they really want to. It seems like they wanted to go in, but they didn't want to pop yeah. until they kind of got forced by the Pyro flanking. Yeah, the but... They lost their demo too early to really make that work, and so it turned out to just be like the solo heavy Uber on the catwalk. And that's not really the best play you want to be making against another Uber team, yep. especially when you Ubered at, uh, before them. So right now, Proto just went for a play on Uber, it didn't get him, but Red should know, yeah, Red knows exactly what Blue is doing. They come yeah. out. Was that a. Was that, that was a bot banner. It looked like a buff banner, at least they buff bannered their demo and soldier out of right, tried to get any sort of pick, but they didn't get anything. I thought it was a buff banner. Let's see what soldier's on when he respawns. Like it's they have like slightly different colors. I thought backup is like slightly greener to the buff banner's just like straight yellow, but it's hard to tell when you're on low textures and shit. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna see Ash bombing and gets denied instantly by the sniper. Very good play by Watercat there. So now we're just going to wait for once maybe another sack wave or pick class to make a play here. I don't know. Blue had a very good chance when they walked in through the hallway side there. And they kind of just threw it away by having Nash die and taking a bad uber fight. Oh. Um, as I say that, now they're going in with the equal uber. Ash is walking over the bridge. I don't the uber think gets popped. This is going to be a very bad uber. Red's uber gets forced for seemingly no reason, but they got zoned so much by Pyro and Soldier bombing their players behind that they have to back up back into the spiral staircase here. Right now, Red's just have this better after fight. Yeah, every they have single the high after fight is even better. They should be able to hold this. As it, the, Ash is walking in right now. The gun is very low. Very good hitting of the gun by the engineer. It does go down, and now Ash has free reign on this high ground. He's doing ton damage to the heavy. He's getting the people respawning as well, and their cart is capped. Okay, nine minutes on Borneo is actually a pretty good time. That's very. That's about average. I, I mean, it's say. not. It's not incredible. It's but not it's... incredible. It's decide. I think like the average range of times in this is like from seven to nine minutes or so. So this is this is definitely a defensible time for Red Team should they choose to do it. And also the fact that they saw such weakness out of uh, out of uh, Whitman pushing the first two points might lead to them having a stronger first two point hold. We'll see because yep. the good the great thing about Borneo is like you can pretty much hold any point for like to infinity like given a certain amount of variables. It's a very it's a very um, balanced map in that sense, and there's also a lot of intermediate holds you can do in between points. So it's very, this time can easily end up with them not even capping third, if Red manages to pull it out. Blue, on the other hand, I'm not really sure. They seem to be doing very well working off the sniper picks. Their flank is doing all right as well. We see Donovan, or I guess that is not Donovan. Who is that actually? Is that that plan? Plan, I yeah, soldier. Know. Yeah, plan, who's currently aliasing his Donovan. He was making a lot of space with his bomb, so we'll see if, how that works out for them on the offense side. All right now, we see the traditional just clearing out the house with the flank. We see a much more standard hold out of red here. Yeah, much instead more standard of, hold. Instead of having the gun in the right house where it looks like they just want to play to back up to the to the window room or the window house in second, it looks like they actually want to try to hold this. Mm-hmm. Much more conventionally. Yes, and so Blue is trying to get a feel for how this hold is going to play out. They're getting some good spam on the combos. 
And oh my, the red blues medic is all the way out already. They're all the way in and not having use. Okay, that was a very interesting decision there. Okay, what is okay? Blue Uber is popped out into the red heavy. The red heavy is still alive. The gun is set up in the same hold that um, the Whitman have, and now it is just destroying everything. This is now the the hold that I'm used to seeing teams do, where they pull the gun after really pass the first and move it here. And now the gun's getting moved further back, and it does die. All right, so blue should take this fairly... No, red still has their full uber right now. And that's not very good for blue team, as they're holding very close here, trying to get some space into the house. If red realizes their full uber out and realizes that they can walk forward in them, they can very easily wipe uh, the Whitman. Well, we see both teams are just going to choose to spam in the house. Hopefully red does not lose their uber out, because losing that big of an uber out on defense is actually very... Not very good, because you could have very you could have killed their medic and secured even more uber out. Well, right now, Sider's playing pretty far back. He knew he was at an Uber to sad. And now yeah, he's coming so they, forward yeah, to the flank house. So. And now we're seeing Leaf rotate out of house. Another plane even more passive, leaving the house area in favor of the the very standard balcony hole. Blue Uber is popped out here into the gun. It's not really going to do anything. He gets stuffed by a, it looks like a good sticky from Ash that knocks him into the tree. Now we're going to see the flank try to get some more card time on this, and we're seeing another traditional push up onto the catwalk to upper balcony for the heavy. The demo's just going to die to this. The gun dies to this as well. Very good play by Randy walking into there. And Red's still holding this Uber. I don't know if that is the play they want to be making. Blue is just going. They left the cart, and they're going to try to force this Uber out. The heavy dies, though, in the meantime, and the pyro's walking into the demo. The demo dies. Oh, what is happening right now? But this was okay for them because they capped and they had the forward spawn and they already had faster respawns. Yes. So for blue right now, this is actually a pretty good situation. This is, yeah, this is working out well for blue because red has decided to not using Uber is not a game winning strategy. Uh, this it feels like a complete misplay honestly to me. If they had Uber their demo out multiple times during that second hold, specifically when they were holding house, they could have very easily probably put up another two minutes on this point, but instead they've lost second, and as it, Ash goes down to water cut again. And, and now I want Blue to see, is going to walk in with their Uber. What I want to see Blue do here is just exchange, because there was so much of red inside the wood area, the wood house, that you exchange, you're just going to get so much free damage yeah. with your demo. Yep. And now but we see Blue that, just walking just... into the sentry gun. This is such a good Uber from Blue. Look at this. The med's going to... Oh my god. The med just dropped. Yep. So the... Red Medic held Uber from the first point, drops on third, the gun goes down. Now Blue is going to roll third with pretty much no contestion, except for one scout who picks the heavy. It seems like if Ash goes down, Red isn't really sure if they want to use their Uber. They just kind of... Like, because that was the problem. Like They didn't use it on first, they didn't use it on second. Yeah. Both times Ash was it's down. Weak main calling is usually with what the symptom of that kind of issue is there somebody ash dying he might be the main caller and when he dies he's not there to call when the uber should be popped that's what i'm suspecting yeah that's probably what's happening so ash needs to be playing more passive not getting picked off so easily and just being assertive with calling the super if he is indeed the main caller or somebody needs to step up and make that call so right now blue just needs to get the card forward they could sack because they're off both teams are off uber right now there's they a little too down though it's going to be kind of difficult I mean, if they sack for anything, it should work out well for them. Yeah. As long as their meta, as long as Sider lives. But right yeah, now, it seems like they're just going to wait until the next Uber and push in. I mean, they that's, have four and a half minutes. That's been working pretty well for them because even with their off Uber pushes, is they've been completely destroying the Whitman in terms of post post Uber play and during Uber play. So we're gonna see not Whitman uh, shooting blanks. blanks. <laughs> we're gonna see the Whitman now going. Aggressive into the left side here with the spiral staircases and bridge. Watercat's gonna peek that with a buff. See if he can pick the demo or sniper there. They see both of them and they're both just gonna wait, play with each other. It's a good snipe on the scout, Watercat. Oh, and we're gonna see Blue Zuber gets forced out here. Good play from the Pyro popping it that early. Red Zuber gets popped in counter and it is going to be a very good Uber for them. The hef demo's surely gonna die. Blue's Medic is going to run, realizing their error, and that's going to be a very strong hold. Good play by uh, Shooting Link Spyro there, forcing that Uber early. I think Blue's problem there was Proto was just trying to solo cap the cart like he is right now. Yeah. And this is work. This is getting the cart forward. This, Proto yeah. died doing that about 30 seconds ago. And then in the Uber exchange, 
There's no there's no spy to sap. Yeah, exactly. Ubers are even. They have the defensive position. It's just that's mm-hmm. not going to work. There was a solo demo Uber as well. It didn't really look like there was anybody coming in from any other side to yeah. like, contest anything. So, I yeah. think they should have Proto just waited. Edging card again, getting it very close. This is generally what I see spies do on this map is because it's such a last hard last to push, just to push cards as close as you can and try to get people to drop down for you. But as it looks like blue's flank. Oh wow. Okay, blue just all wiped. I did not catch what was happening right there, but it looks like they peeked in from hallway side and just met a heavy. Is that what happens? Not sure. Right now, what I want to see Rat do is try to get the Telly because that will yeah, equalize the, the response so for Red. Telly is so strong on this point. You really need it because it and having their spy take it down just doubles the respawn time. As Sigafu said in the cast yesterday, I'm learning from Sigafu. I'm so proud of myself. All right, well, Red has 100 add on the blue team. Not really much they can do about that, because pushing out of Borneo last is probably the dumbest play you could ever make in the world. We see Blue getting aggressive off Uber. Wow, all right, that's what I was talking about. You just keep edging that cap, and if you aren't paying attention, it will fall in. So what appeared to be an extremely weak defense by uh, the Whitman turns into a very strong offense. With multiple with med drops and great plays all around, it just Could, felt like shooting blanks on their defense. They were just so indecisive with what mm-hmm. they wanted to do with their ubers. Like on last, when the card gets that close, you need to commit somebody to it. Uh, you need to accept that that person's probably gonna die. Like Proto just spy capped it. He pretty much solo capped it through main all the way to last with th- uh, three lives. Mm-hmm. And on that last one, there were six on the cart. There was a gun up. There was a heavy shooting around the cart, and yet. Proto still got the cap. Yeah. That's that's just a mistake that should not be happening. You need to have somebody calming, I'm going to sit on the cart until it is moved back X far. And then once that happens, then you can go back to your regular hold. But you need somebody just sacking on that cart, taking the spam damage that's inevitably going to be coming in order to prevent that spike capture, which is probably the most common way I've ever seen Borneo last capped in like every division. But look at the logs here, we can see that even though, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Even though the combo from Shooting Blanks did not appear as coordinated, they did manage to mostly outperform the combo from the Whitman. The flank, on the other hand, is also very even, and Rat getting an impressive 14 15 KD to Proto's 5 and 21. I'm going to attribute that to Proto pretty much just sacking on cart for the last like two minutes of this non-stop, which is what led to them winning the round. So that's actually his KD doesn't matter whatsoever. I agree. I think that shooting blank. So shooting blank should be starting on defense this next yeah. half. They they should know that this, that what Proto is going to do in last. So that shouldn't yeah. happen again. So the Whitman, so. Are pro- the Whitman are going to have to earn their last push a little bit more. Mm-hmm. And hopefully they put up a stronger defense on the first two points because both teams so far have not managed to figure out the first two points. And that has led to them having an extremely weak third, which is traditionally a very one of the more strongest ones outside of last. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're trying to do on the first two holds. Um... Both teams seem to be liking this uh, in, in, the, in the hallway engineer spot. The problem with it is, though, that they don't really have... There's, it's extremely hard for anybody to support them there. Because, like, by the time that the gun is up, or, like, they're getting to the position to have that gun come into play, everybody is already dead because they were playing a little bit too aggressive on the first point. So there needs to be some communication there about, like, playing more around that gun and playing for the hold, or just giving up that hold entirely, which is what I would prefer because that hold's garbage. Uh, for the Whitman, their first hold that was just incredibly passive. So I think their plan was just to back up to second. For shooting blanks, their hold was more standardized. Ash went, or yeah, Ash went down their demo. And yeah. yes, yeah, so I understand that when your demo goes down, it's the Uber exchanges are significantly more difficult. But they still had players up they could have exchanged on first, and that delays yep. that delays the second cap by a minute. It gives you time to get your respawns. It gives you time to get Ash up. It gives you time to back out. They just, but it just seems like nobody on shooting blanks is willing to call that and say that we need to use the Uber here. You know, use on Gabe, use on Ben. Yep. All right. Well, while we wait, I guess we can talk about Borneo itself as a map. 
How about we do that? Because some people presumably might... I want to mention might... something. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Medawi. So on, on the last round, shooting blanks only had one uber against uh, our case four ubers. Right? Yeah, that because was another thing. SB's back, you know, off uber pushes deal. were... Simp I don't know if they were outstanding, but something about them like made... I think that's actually... Ne thinking about it more, I think it's mostly because of the Whitman's... Not Whitman's, shooting blinks. Lack of uh, cohesion there. Wait, which, which team? Yeah, shooting blinks, lack of cohesion. It seems like Ash would die at first. Yeah. And Uber would back up. Ash died on second. Or then. Because he Uber had Ash for alive three on points second. from first. He just did not pop it. Mm -hmm. And, like, he could have used it on a pirate. Even with Ash down. Like, I don't I don't know, like, if what the standard is for plat for gold. But, like, if your demo is down, it's extremely common to see a soldier pyro Uber or a pyro scout Uber or a soldier scout Uber. Soldier scout, and, just get the force. Yeah, just, just to get the force or to get the medic. Because that would have been a preferable play to just holding it and giving up three points. Because at least you were getting damage and trying to maintain a little bit of ground. And also to be said though, the Whitman's off Uber pushes to like force uh, shooting blanks out were extremely good. They were they were just constantly getting random picks across the map that threatened uh, Leaf to keep pushing pushing him back. And so I think that was also it was also a contributing factor and. Why, uh, why shooting blanks didn't really get any Ubers off? What I want to see this half is I want to see a defensive Uber on first and yes. second. A defensive. I want. I want to see what I From call the team. traditional, the traditional first hold, which is the gun. The cart gets pushed up really far. Both teams trade around cart, which is to say, like right where the gun usually is. The, the gun, and then there's like a kind of a scrappy post Uber fight, and then both teams, whatever's left will back up onto house and have a stronger household with the gun surviving and the engineer surviving. I don't want to see any more of this fucking hallway nonsense. Holy shit, it's so bad. Not only does it, like, even if your whole team is up to contest this, your sniper's going to have to be playing alone to be watching the sight line for tracks, and he goes down, there's nothing to stop them from just pushing past that gun and just destroying everybody from behind. So, like, I don't know. Ender, have you ever seen the hallway sight house gun spot work? No, I've only ever seen it as we're backing out of first. I'm just gonna put my gun here and hope it gets a silly yeah. one or two K. Because the fact you know, that they are they like were, benching they their entire second hold on this one gun spot is frankly baffling. I do not think they fundamentally understand how they should be playing with the gun. That's what that leads me to believe. So we have shooting blanks on defense again here. Uh, let's see. Are they gonna go with the same hold that they went with? If they do, I'm going to be angry. Well, they started with... Then they might be doing it. It looks like... No, no, I think he's on Eureka Effect and just teleporting back to spawn. Okay, so we don't really know anything. He did this last... Or Ice Kappa did this the first half, but he switched back to Southern Hospitality, which kind of defeats the purpose of the whole Eureka Effect. Yeah. Because you do that so that, you know, even if your team is kind of caught in at first, at least you can get out and yeah. start building at second. Or when you lose second, if you're still on Eureka Effect, you can put down your exit somewhere at third and back go to spawn and get the entrance up. Yeah, exactly. And also build your gun at spawn and bring it through to third. Um, that's why like, I think the Eureka effect is actually really good on this map, even back in season 15 when it took 17 hits to upgrade a, a <laughs> building. Yeah. I still thought it was really good on this map. All right, so he's going to set up the gun in the normal spot. We're going to see a standardish hold coming out of the Whitman, not Whitman, shooting blanks roster couple people playing nice cheeky spot from Gabe on top of the spawn here gonna get some good spawn damage before feeding or not yep feeding that really is not worth it actually dying that early just means that your entire rock side and house side is free for safer to walk in and pick your demo which is what happened last time so let's see if that happens again I think they wanted to sacrifice their flank to delay here that's not but the play you want to like, make you just want to live right see, now they, blues, right now blues this is close this, yeah, blue should, red should uber right in. Look at how close blue's medic is. He gets forced by a spy. That says everything about how aggressive the Whitman were. See, red uber is popped in counter. Is actually a very good uber. They could probably retake first off of this, but there's, they have to clean up the players behind them. The, pirate, or the demo man. The pyro is going to walk away, but now uh, Whitman's going to walk back into that corner room with their heels and just bully them out a little bit more. The gun is set up in that hallway spot like we were talking about, and it seems to be doing okay for right now, but as soon as this card is capped, I do not see them being hold it, being hold, able to hold it for another 30 seconds. The card is capped, 
Now so we're just going to ignore the holds. Yeah, they Lucha just, just pushed right past Look at all of this rotation. Ash dies because of that. He dies to random spam just because he was rotating out. No, he not dies. He's like 1 HP. He could still die. Alright. It worked out for them, but I think that was because shooting blinks... Not, not shooting blinks. Uh, the Whitman did not aggress enough onto them. They should have realized that they were all literally funneling down drop down and killing them all. Blue Whitman. was forced on first. Their Uber was popped because yes. of the spy. The spy should have been calling that their entire team, the, their heals are right here. We should exchange. I mean, he shouldn't necessarily be the one to make the call to exchange, but yeah, just the call that like, they're right here. They're in they're front of us. so close, and the, you have free high ground there as well. It's so strong. All you need know. to get is the Uber, ex or all you need to do is get the force there, and you hold that point as long as your team doesn't feed during the exchange. Yep. Which you shouldn't because you have a gun up and you have a sniper too. Yep, exactly. Right now we see a very traditional hold now in the house by shooting blanks and traditional aggression by the Whitman trying to push into that house and get spam off the combo. They're freely peeking the Cypher Silent. I don't know where Red Sniper is to allow this. He just died. He might have been playing in the house. So yeah, they're probably going to walk in off of that. Yeah, they are. They're going to use into their Uber. Their Uber died. Their Uber died. The Red Uber is er, dead. The Red Uber, the red Gun is dead. And Blue is not popped theirs. This is a third losing strategy. Big bomb by Gabe. It's going to go behind and not accomplish anything, really. And yeah, so how did Red Semitic die there? I am not sure. I wasn't really paying attention to that. <laughs> I just saw his name in the kill feed and I was like, all right, well, I guess that hold is over. Oh, he got sniped by Fallen Lord. Yeah, oh, that would make sense. Right, no, Red Semitic? Oh, wait, sorry, sorry. Um, Watercat? Yeah. Okay. No, 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 I'm mistaken. I... I, I, I would like to look the vlogs. Blue's Uber gets forced here. I didn't see that. What caused that, but they're going to Uber onto the dirt. In tree, it's a very scrappy Uber. It's not really getting anything done, and they're gonna manage to hold onto this dirt for now. But it looks like Red is trying to come back and try to retake their throw. Yeah, the demo is gonna die. Well, all right, Blue's medic could die right now, and it, yep, Cider is dead. And now we are looking at a retake of third. Try to get a nice strong point, so we're not just stuck with the five-minute loss like we've seen the first two halves. All right, no. so let's talk about that second again, because that was crazy. So Red Medic dies. Blue uses in Proto to kill killed everything. Him. Proto killed him. Thank uh, you, Medui. Okay. That makes sense. Proto, the legend, doing some work. That's all I really wanted to know. Proto so also happened. Sniper too, yep. just before that. But regardless, we're now seeing a stronghold out of shooting blanks on third. They have the traditional gun set up, the traditional upper set up in the barn. Proto is- look at Proto! Right now, look at how much card time he just got. This is what he does, and they're still- even, they're not countering on third. There's not entire confidence in me that they're going to be able to counter it on last. Blue is also playing way too passive right now. It seems like they're not really sure where they want to go with this super once they get it, and they're, as a result, they're not really pressuring anything or trying to leverage any sort of pick play. Well, I mean, right now, they're still at an Uber disad. It's about they're, to be Yeah, but they're still at a disad, but you're, like, you're not going to expect Red to, like, leave their high ground and push into you. Like, if they were holding close, like where Ash is playing right now, then yes, I would say I would be scared of an Uber. But look at how passive both teams are playing right now. They're both just way too scared of each other. Right now, everything is even, so... We're going to see oh. Uber coming up out of the stairs. Pyro's going to scout this and stuff a lot of it. Nope. The Ubers get forced solo heavy, Uber. It's okay, I guess. Blue multis a little bit. They're going to leave. They get the gun. It's really all they really want. Look at this Pyro flank at the end there. It doesn't really get much done, though. And Blue can still win this. this yeah, Blue can still question. win this, but the demo is not walking in. He's walking in now. He's, he's walking in against this heavy. The heavy's going to have to concede the side rooms. Or die. I think he's going for the die option. Oh, Ash is back. Uh, he's gonna juggle up highway, and then fall down himself onto the ground. Randy drops down to get him, and it looks like Red is going to lose his hold. Oh, as I say that, highway also dies, so now we are left with. Nope, the flank copped it. Alright, never mind. What a stab. By Rat on that heavy. I don't. I don't really think that stab was worth it. It was totally worth it. You killed the heavy, man. That's all that matters in life. Whenever I get stabbed, I know that they just made the best play possible. That's fine. 
But you're right, it probably was not the best play he could have been going back to get this teleported, which will inevitably be coming up and will help their defensive side so much. So All fortunately right. for red, they're set up here. Ubers are even. They have level three on top of the barrels. Yeah, so right now, what all they need to be looking for is proto on cart. Just make sure that cart stays at the entrance to main, and they will be all right. Look at he's going on it now. Rat is already in position though. He's not really stopped, but they do pick it. He did. Look at how far he got it though. Rat was standing on the cart, and he still pushed it up like a good like ten feet. That is not what you want to be seeing. Blue now is, looks like they're going to be getting aggressive on this hallway side. They're leveraging their sniper to try to get a pick on this long hallway. Red smartly is not peeking it. We're just going to wait, I guess, for Poe to respawn and try to do some more work on the cart. I mean, I think the smarter play would be to have Proto go for the gun during the exchange here, but just look at, look so what's happening is just working then, out look so Look at well how many for people him. just dropped down on that for him. They, I guess they finally realized it. Now they're going to Uber in from the left side, it appears, over the bridge. They get Did. very deep in before they're called, actually, and they're going to get this gun for sure. Oh, I say that. It gets Rescue Ranger. Sigafu, here he comes. He gets, I think he just pulled it, and now the Red yeah. Uber has popped, and they're going to bully uh, Blue off of this high ground. And But the Pyro flanks in from the staircase, takes out the Heavy, and now Blue is retaking the high ground. Jurati onto the Medic. What a snipe by Fallen Lord onto the Medic. He's trying to do a little bit more damage, but it's not enough, and Blue is going to take this. Just before the Uber came in, the engineer in red picked up his gun and it was. I think he was placing it down and so it was still. Uh, building and then Yeah, got it was killed. still building when they came in with the Uber. I mean, he, he kept it up and he brought it back, but if it wasn't building during the Uber, they should have been able to hold that. Yeah. Yeah, it's all because they didn't really have any, um, any comms on them coming in from that uh, bridge side there. It felt mm -hmm. like the only person who saw it was the pyro, and by the time he was reflecting. Um, stickies, they were already all the way across the bridge and Ubering into their combo. So that's just a little bit of poor management there from the red side on defense. I think that might have been because Proto had just sacked on the cart and literally six people jumped on it to stop it. So that, that it has the feel of PTSD when that happens because it's like everybody just flips the shit out. But you really, you, you just need to call one person is cart duty. Like, it's very easy. The easiest class to do that is Scout, because Scout moves so quickly from anywhere they are. As long as they're not feeding, they can get to the cart and clear what's ever there, especially just one spy by themselves with ease. You don't need to have your soldier spy have the Scout and Pyro jump on the cart. That's true. So right now, it looks like they're doing Red it is again in the Ender. same hole that they did in the Ender. first half. I hope they watch this, and I hope they realize what their main issue was for these first two points because both of these teams have yet to put up a strong first and second hold and I know from experience firsthand, not anecdotal, this is first hand experience. I played you, Candy, and I played uh fucking DK. DK on this map and both of the times because we did not do this and we did first right and we did second right, we could put up like six or seven minute second hold times in house. Like it's just so strong to do that. And having this kind of bait sentry gun it's not what you want to do, but as I'm saying that, it seems like they're doing generally better holding it this time. They're playing a little bit more passive. Nobody's dying quite yet. Now everybody is dying, though. They lose their scout and their soldiers, so the flank's dead. But Blue's not really capitalizing off of it yet. Proto's going for a stab right here on the combo. He gets oh. the force. And also, highway red. drops. Oh. So, no red demo on this. It should be a fairly easier, easy off uber push. Nope, blue is gonna, red is gonna uber their heavy onto the cart. It's really not gonna do anything because pyroclast exists. It has that air blast mechanic. And we're gonna see pretty much, oh wow, that's really sad when you're blue winning heavy. Winning the 1v1. It's Jurati, man. It's a really good weapon. And they're gonna cap this. The gun, was it pulled or just die? I think it got pulled. Yeah, it's pulled. Gotcha. So the gun literally did nothing that entire time. It, so the question you have to ask yourself as you're in the future, if you're going to play this map again in your red team, do we really want to have that gun there? Because that literally did nothing. We lost that point very quickly. I'm kind of curious, like where the teams got the idea for that gun. Yeah, like, I where don't they know. thought this is the way to be playing the defense. Because you know, DK streams their scrims. We streamed our pregame yesterday, and this was know. these were all a day before Six their match. Six man Gerardi, fucking Gabe destroyed by the century because of it. We're gonna see but there's no follow-up on the sentry. Yeah, the Majority, yeah. 
dude, look at this. They're just capping the cart. Look at how far up that cart got with the sentry gun and like four people watching the cart. You need to have somebody jumping on that. Your flank needs to be jumping on that. Oh, blue Uber is forced here by the sentry gun, I believe. And they're gonna get it. Red is about to have theirs, and I'd like to see an Uber push out of the house into tree onto the cart to kill them. But Cider died never mind. Cider dies with 99 Ubers, so forget I said anything. Pro is just gonna kill another person on the cart, because why the fuck not? I'm too health. And they're gonna lose that push. I mean, this is looking to be a pretty good time this so is, far for the first two yes. points, but Borneo third and fourth can be Borneo real. third and fourth. They're cer currently, though, they have nobody set up on third. So what Blue needs to be doing now, their soldier calm that there was nobody there but the pyro. You need to have Blue's combo walking in there right now and pressure. Yep. And we see Ash doing that. He's not being as aggressive. I was like, Watercat is watching the sight line, so it might be a game sense decision there. So we're actually going to have a bit of a third hold. So the gun's only level one. And they do have a good 20, 10 add, which is not really much to go off of, but hey, it's Highlander, you never know. The add should be much longer, right? Yeah. No, nope. Ash died. gets struggled in, and now their add is going to be useless. That's... They're going to have to wait for Ash to respawn, and then it's... it might not actually be an exchange, because Sider's also building really slow, and yes. Uber's not actually building. Both teams are not building Uber's very well. They're Uber just should have had... Yeah, uh, Blue Medic should have had Uber like 15 seconds yeah. ago. I think he At was least. just coughing the heavy and slow demo that we're sitting next to him. Nobody was rotating for their heels. I don't know. Blue, somehow Gabe gets in through the right side and gets upper. He gets some good damage. He gets the force on the side where both Ubers actually use now onto the, onto the hall, hallway side here. Looks like Red is having a slightly better Uber. Randy's just walking in right now, uncontested by anybody on blue team. He's fucking, he's in deep. He's going to almost kill Leaf. Leaf dies to body shot from Watercat. So that, oh my god. Never mind, so Ash dying is not a game winning play. He is currently bottom scoring as well, I would like to point out. Something needs to be happening right now with with Blue's combo where they start getting the synergy that they need to be getting to push this. Look at Randy right now as well. Look at this bait spot he has. If he was on Tommy Slav, he'd be much happier, but he's playing he's playing the minigun for that max DPS. At this point you just want to kill Ice Cap because it's clearly not coming. As the blue pushes off Uber left side, this is what they were doing the first half. It was working very well for them. And they're gonna take this high ground. Blue's heavy drops down and just zone out me a little bit. And they're gonna get this car cap. Proto gets the, okay, Proto just wiped the combo. Forgetting said anything. We're just gonna have to redo everything that just happened. When the is Randy still there? Where the fuck was, did he go? I don't know. He died. Yeah. Okay, never mind. When the combo for blue is on top in third, uh, Zeke, the pyro for red, just killed Fallen right behind the combo. Oh, no. And then went up top, and then the blue combo just dropped down. I'm not entirely sure what I think what that, that fight was. Definitely but... because blue's uh, heavy dropped down to try to free up that space bottom. That's a really hard decision to make, is heavy, yeah. actually, to like to stay up and like guess that nobody's behind to do such shit like that. Or to like drop down and help secure cart if they're holding close like they were. But now we're going to see equal Ubers. Both teams holding close on hallway. And probably... Oh! Rat gets a great drop on the side. And we're going to see a blue Uber coming in right now through hallway. They're going to go far side and they're going to go straight for this gun. It's down instantaneously. The cart is being pushed by Gabe as Sandwich. well so they're not losing any time. And now it looks like Ash is just going to be left alone up top with this mech. He's going to get a lot of damage onto the red demo man and anybody on cart. They drop down now. It's a very scrappy fight, but red is getting their spawners very soon. And it looks like they're going to manage to hold this. Well then, that Uber could have gone a little bit better, but in terms of red's uh, play there, I think that was basically perfect. I don't know. I didn't really see much fault with that. They kited it slightly. They baited the gun so it would go down, and a lot of people lived so they were able to kill the people pushing cards so it wouldn't get too close. But the card is now very close, and this is where you need somebody on cart. And we see Red Pyro Ziki doing that, but he just left cart. So right now, if Proto caps it. Not Proto. Uh, the Blue Spy. Rat. If Rat caps us right now, I'm going to uninstall. Just straight up. Let's see. Is Rat going to cloak in through main? No, he hasn't been doing that. He's cloaking in like through main. Oh, shit. The pyro is close. The pyro is close. He's going for it. Immediately we see Fall Watercat dropping down and wrenching him. The scout rotates in, which is what I wanted to see from shooting blinks as well. 
But Siders on that quick fix, which is probably not the play you want to be making once he realized that they were going to hold this. I think Uber would have been definitely the play, but they do manage to white blue. So right now, Siders needs to be giving out quick fix. Get up quick fix. Go and spawn and hit your Uber button. All right, he's going to stay quick fix. So we see Randy right now playing on the cart, which is generally not that good because he gets killed by a sniper. He dies immediately to a soldier bomb as well. Sniper is walking in with his melee. That is not a game winning play. They're just sacking for cart. You don't want to be doing this as blue. Oh, they didn't have time. That's... <laughs> that was just a desperation play at the end there. Oh, uh, I should look at the round timer. All right, <laughs> forgive me, cast. I just, I don't look at the round timer. I just look at the plays. I play by play. When All Sutter right. dropped on last, I feel like I don't I don't really know how Blue messed up the push because it seems like they got in, they got the gun, yeah, they got some frags, and then the after fight just fell apart for them. Yeah, I don't know. They I don't know if they just had too many people. Focus cart. Yeah, they they had like Gabe and then their heavy rotated onto the cart there when really you didn't want anybody really on the cart at that point because there was too many red people up and they just swarmed the cart. The Ash had good positioning, but he wasn't doing anything while um, people were rotating on the cart. So it was basically just the people um, from red shooting the players on blue on cart. And Ash was just looking at them doing that while he was reloading. So, in general. Yeah. All in all, I would say uh, both teams did very well considering that it's gold. <laughs> Uh, very, very pleased with both of their plays, plays, especially their last total holds. Both teams seem to hold last very well, but I don't know how much of that is up to the map or up to their individual play. Uh, did we link log so I can see how well uh, everybody yes. did? I mean, I feel like overall, like the play wasn't that bad. They they had some good ideas at times. Uh, I feel like if they watched the STV, you know, if each team watched the STV, they would see a lot of their issues, and a lot of them are just they need to be more decisive. Yes, with their exactly. Ubers. and. I feel like they're like both teams. Their play would improve so much if they just realized that the purpose of payload isn't necessarily to save your Uber and then use your Uber and get a nine k. It's to delay the cart capture. Yes, exactly. So, and by just walking away from the cart with your full Uber, you are not playing payload. You are playing some other game, which is probably baiting for frags. So, playing Overwatch or Overwatch. Hey, I press Q and I win XD. So, uh, so what does this mean for gold as a division? Who, uh, who has confirmed you know, Ender? Who, what does this mean for the playoff picture? The PP? Um, I think it means they're basically a shoe in now. They're getting in. Whitman, I would have, yeah. Yeah, I would have to. Is this an upset? I think my friend Waimeo predicted my friend the Whitmans to lose. Hmm, let me look at this so I can yell at her. Yes, yes, she did. All right, so I can yell at her. So this is a slight upset, I guess, as well. So I don't know what that's going to mean for the future. But shooting blanks, uh, they still have a shot at playoffs, of course, right? Like, they can they can pull it back and try to get into that. This yeah, is 16 playoffs for gold this season or something like that? What is it? I don't know, I... somebody in chat tell me, please. Two, in like five minutes. Okay, let's look at the logs and talk about the logs because Meadow was just looking at them, expecting us to talk about them. So Randy 2111, um, that's pretty good as a heavy, but then you look at his heals and his damage taken versus damage done overall, and it's not that impressive. Um, that's mainly due to the fact that he was just walking in for free and like killing people after Ubers, I feel, and not being contested. And then he baited for a long time. Holy shit, Carl's son not listening to Carl. 34% heals on heavy. That is a game losing strategy right there. That that might be alone. That might be because Ash was just not playing well and like leaving the combo and dying a lot because he went 9 and 13. Didn't even break 300 DPM. But yeah, that's not a stat you want to be seeing. There needs to be some serious work going on uh, SB's combo for next week if they're going to hope to get a, comp a playoff spot because that is an extremely disappointing couple of statistics from them. I mean, most of Ash's deaths were, were five deaths to the spy. Pick glasses. And, I mean, dying to the spy mm. does happen, but, yeah. I mean, when you have 13 deaths on Borneo and five are to the spy, Something's happening with the combo, or it's, just your general it's, gameplay. Yeah, either it's yourself or it's your team. 
Um, Proto stepped up his stats, fifteen and eighteen, despite yeah. despite you know doing nothing but sack for the card on last, which is that's, that's a mark of a good spy. You can play the objective and you can win the game. Indeed. And also wipe the combo at third. Yes. Oh my god, that was literally a game winning play. Anyway, uh, is there anything else left to say? Let's see if people are mad at me in chat for uh, calling them bad. Nope, nobody's even saying my name. Perfect. Medley said my name. Fuck you, Medley. All right, so I guess that's the end of it, right? Are we going to cast next week? Are you gonna, is somebody going to cast my game tomorrow against a pug team? Who you, no. Who's the roster for Grave Squad tomorrow? If I could tell you, I would give you $100. Because oh. I have heard... Like three different snipers alone, and none of them confirmed. I've heard Barry Center, I've heard Carson, I've heard Zoe, I've heard Boar. I don't even know anymore. I'm 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 just I'm confident we're gonna win because whatever team they roster they won't I I heard that they were screaming, but it's a pug team, so it's probably gonna be like how these teams played, and if they do the gun hold in the fucking hallway we win. <laughs> oh it's okay. It's it's a Tuesday match. I'll give anybody STV if you want it. Just message me on uh on my uh on my Napster, and you'll get that information. It looks like the door match is still going on. Oh shit! I, I only see one log for on logs when I search for all. So time. they started late. I don't, I really do not like those gamers in particular. So I don't know if I want to cast that. <laughs> uh, we're not casting door from the high heavens. The Lord himself. The god of Medic, as Rogue said, Medui, is going to do that. So Medui needs to eat. He needs to eat Sloppy Joes. I say we hold this out for as long as possible so that Medui doesn't eat. What do you say, Andrew? Let him eat. Let the poor man eat. Alright, Taz has been banned, so he's not in Humble anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Do you have any shoutouts? Uh, shout out to Right Justify and Spamfest. Nice. Ghost Spamfest. Ghost Spamfest. Alright. Thanks for watching.